How do you blink like a pro? Stay on to find out more. What's up everybody? My name is SK and welcome back to my channel. So in order to blink, let's set up the basic one. We have the top eyebrow and the bottom eyebrow. Okay, to blink, we just need to keep from the first one and also the bottom one. Okay, let's do a three from down. One, two, three, close. Close all the way till you cannot see the pupil. Okay, then the bottom one, you have to lift it up. Okay, make sure it's totally close. Next, we have to hold on for two from one, two. So three down, hold two, and four up, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we copy the first from to from number nine. Then we just have to copy okay, around 34. We will paste, and this time we hold it for longer. So we have different kind of speed. Okay, 34. So this is how you do a basic blink, right? So now we want to enhance this blinking. Okay, so when you go down that time, look at the spacing of these eyes. Okay, you start from here and then say it end here. If you make it to auto keyframe, it will actually show something like this and something like this. Okay, the spacing, you need to actually do the slow in, slow out. Okay, I'll draw the, the other eyes close here. Okay, the correct way when you go down, supposed to stay on top first. Then after that, maybe close it here. Okay, so you can see this spacing and this spacing. And this spacing is short, longer and longest. Okay, so you will see the slow in, slow out. Over here, the distance is very constant. Okay, so there's no slow in, slow out. Okay, so we do that. Go in here, move it up a bit. Okay, next from two, we bring it up more. Then it close down. Okay, same for the lower eyelid. Maybe we just do two, just bring down a bit. Okay, so after it close, select both eyelid. After it close, 3 to 4 is the same. Okay, we in animation we don't put the same firm together because it's not moving at all. So when you, after it close, you have to bring it down more. So from 3 to 4, it actually moved down. Okay, by a bit. Maybe not too much, just a bit of movement. Okay, at 5, it closed down more. Okay, so close, move down a bit and more. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two. Then after that, you open up. Same, same thing. You have to take note of the spacing. So number six actually move it down more. Okay, seven and eight, eight will move it down more. So you have to, we have different kind of speed. Okay, now it's looking more alive. Okay, we will continue with the eyes, pupil eyeball select the eye now you can control the eyes okay same thing key from once it close and open and we key from the original place okay from zero to nine so when you close your eyelid down you will actually drag the eyeball down so maybe at two you want to move it down a bit okay so it will follow down so number one okay number two okay so number three maybe we open up just a bit okay to see the small eyeball so number three we will put the black color eyeball the uh, pupil there's the green and the black one so we push it down until it's about the center below the center okay something like this then we close until we cannot see anything okay the moment we can see it is at six so at six we want to push it down until we can see the black color Okay, same thing, 7, we push it up, and then 8, and 9. Okay, now the eyeball is following. This is how we do our eye blink. Okay, next we want to do the, the other side, okay, which is at a longer timing. Okay, first we fix the eye, slow in, slow out. Okay, so at, before it close, we bring it up some more. And then over here, we bring it up some more. Okay, same for the bottom part. Here, we just bring down a bit. Okay, after it close, 
make sure it's going down when doing the moving hold okay then when it bring up okay at 47 you can bring down some more and the lower lid bring up a bit okay then we'll fix the eye eyeball it started at 34 and end at 49 okay just before it closes we bring the eyeball down and maybe we start the eyeball 34 we can stay on maybe just down a bit then when it closes down here you can push it up okay when it appear again you can push it down till we see the black color okay so we are done with the eye bling and next the in between we have to do some animation like eye dodge okay so for eye dodge you just need to choose a place where you want to turn or 13 then next three from one two three okay over here just move a bit okay then maybe at 25 one two three we go back to 34 okay 16 and 25 should be the same And congrats, you know how to do your blinking, right? So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. But wait, do you know you can enhance it even better? If you want to know how, do click the like button and I will go through it in a while. Okay, so in order to enhance your animation, you need to actually deform your surrounding of the eyes. Okay, what are the eyes surrounding? Okay, look at the controller. You have this controller where you can control the inner part you can control the outer part also you need to deform your eyebrow it will affect your eyebrow okay when you close your eyes it affect your eyebrow even the nose okay make sure your eye surrounding is closing inward pushing everything to inside okay this one close a bit inside so we actually push everything in Okay, including the eyebrow, we push it down. Okay, so it, everything should squeeze. After that, it will release back to original shape. Okay, so we will do with the inner part. Okay, we will close. Inner part will actually push it in and up a bit. Okay, at the side, we will push it in just a bit. Okay, so let's do the same for the other side. Zero, nine. Okay, over here we can push it in and up this one we can push it in okay for Malcolm we have a controller to scale it to move and to scale the eyes so just touch a bit okay at 0 9 we just want to squeeze a bit just a bit okay don't need to touch a lot and maybe squeeze here a bit and move to the inner part a bit Okay, do the same for the other eyes. This is this one. Okay, 0, 9. Squeeze in a bit. And then move in a bit. Okay, remember after it squeeze inward, we have to continue the squeezing at number 6 until number 6. So we select these two controller. Okay, copy and paste. And do a small moving hole before it release. Okay, so this one we we'll just select both and just scale it in a bit. Okay, now we have a bit of movement, the skin movement. Okay, we will do the same for the eyebrow. We will select the eyebrow, we select both. Okay, zero, nine. Okay, this time we just need to select until five. Okay, just push it down a bit. Okay, when it is inside the eyebrow, we push it down further. Maybe do a small rotation, something like this. Okay, even the nose, the surrounding nose, zero, nine, four, we can push it up a bit. Then at six, we push it up even more. 
okay maybe at five we can start to release okay depends on your style okay if you don't want the mouse to move too much you can just reduce it so maybe at you want to use two middle mouse click and then seven middle mouse click okay so just a very subtle movement okay so do the same for the other one 34 to 49 okay just repeat what you have done okay let's now we start from the eyebrow okay bring it down the inner part bring it down more add a bit of rotation okay then the nose start from 34 49 okay at 40 bring it up a bit moving hole bring it up a bit more okay and then we have the overall eye shape 34 to 49 okay so 42 you will just squeeze it in squeeze it down move in a bit okay maybe you can rotate up a bit okay remember it's pushing upward okay the diagram i draw pushing up okay same for this inner part 34 49 inner part push it in and up okay the outside also push it in okay now we have a better deform shape okay so for the eye dodge at the center part so instead of doing two time you can actually do three time previously i used the first one say the second eye dodge is here okay we want to add in the additional one to try to form a triangle shape okay this is the third one so that we form a triangle okay one two three and go back to original okay so it looks nicer this triangle shape okay we have one two okay now we need to add in the three okay so maybe we start from we drag the back one to 30 then we add in one more at the bottom so at 16 we will copy to 20 and then we will move it down okay 23 we move downward okay so 16 we move it down then go back to 30 Okay, try not to move the eye dodge too much because it will look very weird so just move down by a tiny little bit okay so when you are moving your eyeball your eyelid will actually follow a bit okay we have a controller just affecting the eyelid okay we have another controller that affect the eyeball also so what we want is the one only the eyelid is moving okay so when it start to move to the first position okay rotate a bit Okay, then it move, it stay on until this firm and it go down. Okay, something like this. Okay, and just add a bit of head movement to make it more realistic. Okay, zero when you squeeze down when you blink at number five and you release to number ten. Just bring down your head by a bit, just a bit downward. Okay, don't need to move too much okay same for 34 when you want to blink down okay you can start to move your head knock down a bit okay you will stay down and then go back to the original place okay we are done so this is how we do our eye blinking okay we look at our surrounding eyes make sure you deform it to make it look more alive okay there's a lot of work just for one eye blinking okay so for your acting shot make sure when you want to enhance your acting you can do all this okay hope you have learned something okay do comment down below if you have any tutorial you want me to make if not i will see you next time happy animating goodbye